Last week, we told you about homeowners angry at the governor for shutting down vacation rentals while hotels and resorts can remain open. New at 6, now vacation rental owners are facing fines just for letting their relatives stay in those unused rental homes. 8 on your side's Evan Donovan reports from Holmes Beach. The Holmes Beach chief of police says the governor's office backs him up. There can be no new guests in a vacation rental property, even if they're relatives of the homeowner. Josh Engelman and his family drove down from Chicago on Saturday. His cousin in Germany just bought this new house on Holmes Beach and was happy a family member could use it. Then on Monday afternoon, police knocked on the door. I'm a lot of biting person. <laughs> like I, the last people that I would think to show up at my door would be the cops saying I'm in violation of renting and we aren't renting. The governor's executive order suspends, quote, vacation rental operations. Owners are prohibited from making new reservations or bookings and shall not accept new guests for check-in. Eight on your side challenged the Holmes Beach police chief on whether that includes family members or anyone else who isn't renting. No, you're still checking in. If you don't live there, then you are a guest there. Checking in or not, it says no new guests. Both Josh and his cousin were cited with a second-degree misdemeanor, which could result in 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. But their attorneys say there are constitutional rights at play. By limiting who can stay at a property, you're really limiting one's private property rights and what they can and cannot do uh, with their property. Some of the prettiest properties in Tampa Bay now may be off limits, even to family. Eight on your side also reached out to the governor's office for clarification on that executive order. So far, we have not yet heard back. In Holmes Beach, Evan Donovan, eight on your side.